with him again. What do you mean? Why? I think you know what I mean. And with regards to the, the film's themes, because it does uh, talk about racial privilege and, and social inequalities, but was it a tricky balance to get it right with regards to not have a hectoring tone or not to kind of finger point at any point? Because the film doesn't in any way feel moralizing in any respect. Well, I hope it doesn't. It's very easy to say somebody else is an idiot very easy to say how smart you are. Social media has brought that little trick to us, right? Canceling people, talking about how stupid the other person is. We're very good at that as a species. And um, I think that's too easy. I think the system has a lot of, uh, it's almost like the malevolence of the system is marbleized throughout. It's not one cause, it's not one person. History is like peeling away the layer of an onion, you know, you can never really get to the core of it, it's endless. And so I was trying not to say anybody is at fault, it's not about that. We all do our little thing to contribute to a collective catastrophe. My parents are sending me to my brother's school. That's heavy. In this institution, you can be anything you want to be. It won't be because of a handout. It'll be because you earned your way there. Sometimes you need a little distance. You know, if I start making something that's topical, you know, what's fresh today is rancid tomorrow. So maybe the distance of the past allows us to see things more clearly today. That's what you hope anyway. <laughs> Sam, those schmucks are anything bad about those kids, you're gonna say something. You're gonna be a match, okay? Firm handshake. Okay, give me a hug. If you had told me 30 years ago where movies would be today, where you only, in the American system, you have basically one kind of movie that can get made with superheroes, I would have told you you would be crazy. And yet here we are. It could change overnight, though. That's one thing you learn about culture in general, which is really exciting. I remember uh, reading somewhere, let's say you were in 1962 or 63, and the music was all like Acker Bilk, and the movies were all Doris Day and Rock Hudson. And by the way, there are some very nice, one, Pillow Talk is a wonderful movie, several of them are good, but that's a diff specific kind of movie. And then really within a three or four year period, you have the Beatles and Bonnie and Clyde and an ocean of new and stranger works of art that you never would have anticipated. So who knows?